Hey guys, this is Jake with Casual Commerce, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can properly optimize all of your product images on Shopify. So there's really only three steps to optimizing a product image. The first one is uh, compressing the file size, that way your pages load faster. Uh, the second one is going to be uh, editing the actual look of the image itself. And the third one is going to be to go ahead and edit the alt text. That way you're optimized for the proper SEO keywords. So that way you have a better chance of showing up for specific searches in Google. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to do all three of these right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, skin vacuum product here. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how to actually go ahead and edit the image itself because a lot of times if people are using images that aren't their own custom product images there's going to be parts of the image in here that you don't want because it just looks stupid so i'm going to show you how to remove that now so um if it was me i would normally just use photoshop but i know that not everyone's gonna have photoshop so there is a way you can do it right in here in shopify and what you can do is just hover over the image and click on the pencil icon here to go ahead and edit the image. And you can see that this down here just looks completely stupid, so I wanna go ahead and remove it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on draw, and I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna click white, and I'm just gonna click the big brush size, and I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all this. Now, as long as the photo has a white background then this is going to work completely fine and it's going to be completely easy to do now if you have um, harder things to remove then you may need to use a photo editor like photoshop but most of the time i'm um, coming in here and just doing this with the white brush will be enough and you'll be fine so you would just come in here and do that and then click done and then save and there you go. We can go ahead and preview this now. And you can see that now we have the image without that stupid stuff at the bottom. And yeah, so that's pretty easy. So editing the image itself, like I said, you just come in here, click edit on the image and go ahead and blotch out and brush over whatever you don't want. And if you need advanced editing, you're going to have to do that within a photo editor but I'm not gonna cover that in this video. So the second thing that we would need to do is actually go ahead and optimize our file size. So we're gonna compress our images so that way our page loads faster. Now, there's gonna be two ways to do this. And firstly, I'm gonna show you the most common way, which is just an app. So if you just go ahead and install crush.pix on your store, and you can use the free plan if you want. You don't even have to get a paid one. And it will go ahead and compress all of the images on your store for you. And what that does is it just makes the file size of the individual images smaller. So that way when someone clicks over to one of your pages, there's less raw data for it to load up, which means your page will load faster, which means visitors are gonna be a lot happier. So that's definitely something you wanna do. So the easiest way to do this is just add crush pics and then go ahead and compress every photo in your store. Now, you can do this manually, but I don't recommend it one, because you're gonna need Photoshop and two, because it just takes a really long time. Like I have Photoshop and I still don't do it manually because I'd rather just click a button and have it done automatically in the background. But if you really wanna do it manually, I'll show you how to do it in Photoshop real quick. So here's an image right here. Compressing it's pretty simple. So all you'll need to do is come up here to file, click on export and then go to export as, and then we'll see this data uh, show up here and we'll be able to see the file size right here is 142.2. Uh, kilobytes. So first what we're going to do is switch the format from a PNG to a JPEG and that increased it by a little bit but now what we can do is come down here to the quality and we can lower it. So you see we lower it to 90. It, it jumps straight down to 110. You can barely notice the difference. Um, like if you went all the way down to 10 percent you're going to notice a big difference but the file is really small. So what you'd want to do is lower it as much as possible 
but to the point where the photo itself um, doesn't look too much worse. So normally 70 or 80% is as low as I like to go. Even 90, like I said, though, gives you that huge buff, but in this case, we could go to 80, and then you would just click Export All, and you'd be good to go. But like I said, if you don't have Photoshop, just use Crush Picks. It does the same thing. You can also play with the settings on how much you want to compress it as well in Crush Picks, and it doesn't in bulk, so it's a lot easier. But I wanted to show you how to do it manually in case for some reason you wanted to do it manually. So the last thing we need to do to optimize images is go ahead and edit our alt text. So you can do that by hovering over the image here and then selecting edit alt text. And you can see it says write a brief description of this image to improve search engine optimization and accessibility for visually impaired customers. So all alt text really is, is it's essentially a description telling Google what this image is. So that's really all you wanna put here. Now, uh, if you want to optimize it, preferably for SEO, you'd want to put keywords in here. So normally you just want to put the name of your product, but sometimes there's a lot of different names, um, different names for your product. So you want to find uh, what the most searched variant of your product is and start putting that in here. So for example, this is a skin vacuum. So if I search skin vacuum and Google, you can see that it has 5,400 searches a month, and I can see this data by using a Chrome extension called Keywords Everywhere. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So if I go, so if I go here and you click on Keywords Everywhere down here, you just go ahead and install this in the Chrome, and you'll be able to see all the search data and stuff. So I recommend doing that, so that way you can get your alt text right. So once you've installed that tool, you can search the what your product is, and you're gonna see the search volume. And then if you come down here, you can see related keywords. So it's also called a blackhead vacuum, it's also called a poor vacuum, and it's also called a blackhead remover. So this product is essentially called four different things within Google. So we can see which ones have the most search volume. So skin vacuums of 5,400. We could try blackhead remover. And this one's at 22,000, so that's definitely one that we'd want to go ahead and use. And then we could try skin vacuum, or pore vacuum, rather. And you can see that this one is at 790, so it would be the one that I would prioritize the least. But we still have three different names for our product here. So what we could do is come back here to the alt text. So I would go ahead and put the first alt text as blackhead remover. And this is because this is the keyword with the most search volume. But we do have three photos, so we can put the alt text of each one and make it different because all of these photos are gonna show up on our product page. So that means that all of these alt texts are gonna show up on the product page. So uh, if we put different keywords, it's gonna help optimize our uh, page for all three of them. So for this one, I would just put skin vacuum. And you know, you want to try and make sure that the alt text actually includes, you know, what the image is about. You don't want it to be, you know, something that's that you don't want to like stuff keywords in here if that's not actually what's in the image. You want to keep it kind of natural because Google's not stupid; it can kind of tell what's going on. So this last one here, I could put poor vacuum. And you can see there's no issue with putting these keywords in here because every one of our images is of this product. So normally you won't run into an issue with that. Just try and put in different variations of your keyword and you can tell which ones are being searched in Google by using keywords everywhere. So with that said, um, that's really all you have to do to optimize your images within Shopify. So just a quick recap. First step is you want to remove anything unwanted from the photo. If you're using third party photos or photos that aren't yours, if you're using photos of yours, obviously you don't need to do that. And step two is going to be to go ahead and compress the image file size. That way your page loads faster. And then step three is going to be to go ahead and edit the alt text to optimize the images for SEO. So with that said, that's going to be it 
for this video. If you found that helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.